talk to you a little bit about kind of versatility. You played safety, you resigned, you started out as safety, and then to help the team, you moved to nickel. So kind of going forward, especially this year, like if you have to do that safety nickel thing again, you know, where, where can you take some strides forward? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, how can you improve as a player in both those positions? Um, uh, with me playing a position, both of the positions, uh, I got like a year under my belt with playing both positions. So I think um, I can take strides at getting better at both positions. So either or, if they want me to play corner, safety, or nickel, at either or, I just feel like I can get better and uh, progress at either or every year. Uh, you know, I talked to you, you guys that have played nickel here, and you guys all mentioned like it, it is like hard because of the two-way go. You've got, I'm, I'm curious, but you were able to slide right in and do it. Did playing safety really, like, it's the first couple months, right, through preseason, did, did that help you at all? Like, really understand the concepts teams are going to throw at you as a nickel corner? Or did you already know? Uh, I kind of, by me playing safety, it kind of helped me out um, with playing, with knowing the defense a little bit. So I kind of knew where my help at. So that kind of helped me out a lot with uh, moving, changing, going to that nickel position. And I was just, just blessed to be able to be versatile and play any position that the coaches asked me to do. What are you guys going to miss without Hussein and uh, Tyler Branch? Uh, we're going we're to miss uh, two good guys, man. They were two good guys, and uh, they did a great job of coming in and helping the organization. And uh, I'm happy for them boys and, and their career and situation that they made. Did you talk to Hussein, and, and what, what are your thoughts about the reasons for his retirement? Um, I didn't really talk much, much to him, but uh, I feel that um, he got to make a family decision or his life, whatever, whatever he got going on, that's, that's his business. And I'm, I'm glad for him and happy for him that for whatever decision he made. And um, just blessed to be able to play with somebody like you're saying. What's your mood coming back today? Oh, I'm in a great mood, man. I'm just gl glad to see everybody and just um, ready to get this thing started. Would you rather have one position that you focus on and can try to perfect, or do you, do you kind of like being a jack of all trades? At, at this point, at this point of time, it, it really doesn't matter to me. I kind of like being a jack of all trades because a lot of guys are not able to do that. So I feel kind of special just to be able to move around and do different things. Is there something that allows you to to kind of be that flexible, or I mean, is there something about the way you play or your skill set or your? Like I say, I just was blessed with uh, versatility, man. God gave me the talent to be able to run and catch and move around, and I got good size. So with all that being said. You kind of, I kind of can fit it anywhere. Hey, Ron, just curious. Um, toward the end of last year in practice, I guess over the last three months, did you practice any at outside cornerback? Nah, I kind of didn't. Get, I kind of didn't get no work. It was always inside. It was okay. always inside, yeah. Ron, you mentioned earlier here. Um, you mentioned Tyvon Branch and Hussein Abdul. But what is it about this scheme? I mean, over the past couple of years, you've had Quentin Demps, Kirk Coleman, Branch. Hussein Abdul, I mean, what is it about the scheme where guys can just come in here and be solid contributors? I think it's a good scheme, man, and I think uh, Bob Sutton and uh, the defensive coaches on the, on, on the staff, they do a great job of uh, teaching the players uh, what to do and uh, how, how they like their position being play, uh, played. So with that being said, uh, the coaches do a, a great job of just getting us ready, man, and just having us ready for anything. Have you had an opportunity to talk to Jimmy Wilson and Stevie Brown today? Or? Oh, yeah, I talked to them guys. I talked to them earlier today. They're two good guys, and... They kind of, they kind of like I was when I first came in. My situation was almost the same, just like them. So, I just try to uh, be a good guy and just uh, lead by example for them guys. In retrospect, what you guys learn from the New England loss? Uh, we just learned that we can't, we can't start off flat footed, man. We just, we just got to go out there and play a complete game, and just that's that's about that.